Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Well, I'm in between visits to the cul-de-sac and it's a wet, soggy Sunday afternoon here in Oregon. And so I'm back in the garage working on just a few little projects and jobs, uh, starting with the repeat again. And so in this video, I'm going to be looking at the timed breather. You may remember from previous videos where a lot of uh, oil was getting sprayed all, all over the bike through what I believe is the timed breather. Um, I thought perhaps it wasn't functioning correctly, but that might not be the case, actually. I think the banjo just simply wasn't sealed properly. And so in this video, I'm just refitting the banjo with a slight modification and just taking this um, as a process of elimination, just a step-by-step -step methodical approach to see if I can fix this uh, potentially a breathing problem or just a sealing problem. And so if that works, terrific, we're done. If it doesn't work, we'll move on to the next solution. Here's the standard breather pipe and banjo on the bench and the banjo bolt goes through here of course with with washers and uh, but what I found was that when I took this banjo bolt out I found that some of the threads were a little compressed so it's just possible that oil was getting past those threads and out and spraying onto the bike um, another thought is that it just simply wasn't sealing properly and so what I've done I've got myself a new banjo bolt uh, stainless this time uh, strong threads with washers copper washers uh, that will compress as it's tightened up and instead of going with the standard pipe uh, which goes over the magneto and then snakes under the bike and then spits oil away from the bike to the right hand side of the bike instead of going uh, with this I've decided to go in a different direction I'm actually going to take the breather pipe a new pipe up and over the bike um, and I'm going to use this pipe here this is off a uh, series D Vincent and so different obviously to this uh, what I'll do is I'll take the pipe off uh, to 90 degrees obviously from the banjo install the pipe and then take it up and over the bike I'm going to try that first of all if that doesn't work then we can move on to different types of breather arrangements uh, this is the actual D breather that I got from Mitch so thank you for this Mitch and you'll see that uh, the pipe essentially is that pipe there for the series D um, I actually got this from Mitch for my Comet and I'm hoping to fit that one of these days and then we can go on to more uh, elaborate but similar devices like this you see this is somewhat similar but the spigot is massive on this and frankly when I put the pipe on this it looked a bit ugly uh, similar to what you see with those elephant trunk breathers which I understand are really effective um, but they tend to be a little um, unsightly on the Vincent just in my opinion and then um, there's that's a Ducati non-return valve as well and if you're using any of these non-standard breathers you have to plug the timed breather uh, this is a standard sump plug actually that fits perfectly there isn't a lot of room down here for the new pipe with the existing breather pipe it comes this way over the magneto and then down under the bike and away uh, but with this D pipe uh, the only position actually that it will go in is this 90 degree position here um, in between the barrel and this arm that holds the magneto pickup on so obviously I'll keep it as close as I can to the arm to keep it away from the heat of the barrel but yeah it should work let's just see how it goes so here's the nice new banjo bolt and pipe with two nice new copper washers installed and put that between there I'll just nip that for now essentially want to keep that pipe spigot as close as I can to the arm here and away from the barrel which is going to get very hot obviously and I'm just dry fitting the pipe for now from the other end that fits over nicely and the idea is that this will come something like that but what I'll try and do is pull the pipe away without creating too much of a 90 degree kink in it 
away from the barrel and up and over what I might do is just kind of cable tie it to one of the spark plug wires just to pull it away otherwise it's going to rub up against that bottom fin I'm going to try something else I'm going to try the other debreather pipe that has a kink in it and see if that takes it away more from the barrel than this straight pipe we'll Okay, that's the other pipe, banjo pipe fitted. We'll just see if that's any better in taking the pipe away from the from the barrel. No, actually it isn't. It's taken it into <laughs> one of the net higher up fins. So yeah, if it came across the magneto like here, it might be better. But it doesn't. So, oh, the other thing is go the other way. Oh yeah, try that. Curl it the other way. So that goes in the other direction, which takes it down under the barrel. But then what do I do with it? Let me come around and have a look at that. Now it's touching the bottom fin. I will have to, I'll go with a straight pipe. I'm just going to try and find the most effective route or route over the bike for this pipe. Connect it to this oil pipe here somehow behind the carburetor and then down under the battery and then down behind the left hand foot peg bracket. Just want to make sure it's not going to get caught up on this magneto cowl as well. I think it's above this little cutaway but I'll just check. Yeah, that's good. It just fits into that recess. Here are the new spark plug leads and this new breather pipe now attached to the bike and in place. What I've tried to do is just leave as much as I can of a nice relaxing bend on that breather pipe so it doesn't crimp it or nip it and restrict the flow of oil and then it comes over the top again just sort of loosely connected to the oil lines here the high tension leads and then up and over behind the carburetor down and then what I've done is I've taken it down behind the battery and underneath and then it comes out down here behind the horn don't know if you can see it and then what I've done, I was going to end it there and I thought, well, I've got more pipe. So I kept going. And so it's fastened here and you can't see it. It's behind the swing arm and it goes all the way to the end of the swing arm. It fastens to the rear stand as well. So if we go over here again, loose fitting for now, and then ultimately to the end of the rear stand and then out so that it ejects oil out from the back of the bike and it doesn't get it onto the tires. Hopefully that will do it. I'll take it for a run in a little bit and we'll see how much oil comes out of that new breather pipe.